Hey, everybody. Welcome to Change Our Minds. This is part three of our show. If you missed part two, you got to be a member. It's over there. It's, and we had a nice little talk about couples that are too close and some other fun stuff. Uh, so you can always catch the full show over there as members of Popcorn Planet. Or you can listen to the whole stream on iTunes, Spotify, etc. But, Jody, uh, this is I'm going to see if this is a topic. This may end up being a members-only section, too. We'll see. Oh. But this was a topic. Uh, this, I just saw this click as I was looking up stuff. Uh, I don't know who this Lily Reinhardt is. She's part of Riverdale. Uh, but she showed a picture so before she, we get to her apology. She showed a picture. You'll be able to see it on the, you look on YouTube, you'll, it'll show up in a second. She showed this picture on Instagram that said, now that my side has gotten your attention, Brianna Taylor's murderers have not been arrested to man justice. <laughs> 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 Clearly this got a lot Jeez. of attention. Uh, when you see the clip, the photo, you'll love- see like, man, all right, that got a lot of people to check out her Instagram. Uh, I love it. I don't have a problem with this, but a lot of people uh, had a problem fantastic. with this. A lot of people had a problem with this, forcing her to apologize oh, yes. for, uh, for bringing side for how dare she do her tone deaf post. You can't do this. This is ridiculous. Uh, she, she then removed the. Uh, uh, she removed it and said, uh, uh, Reinhardt could be seen post out. She had, she's now removed the upload from Instagram and taken to Twitter to apologize for the content. I've always tried to use my platform for good and speak up about things that are important to me. I also can admit when I make a mistake and I made a mistake with my caption. It was never my intent to insult anyone. And I'm truly sorry oh, to those who God. were offended. Oh my oh God. My God. This is going to be a mess. Guys, uh, I've tried very hard and honest uh, and honest on my IG lives. I'm still learning, but I'm trying to be better. I understand that my caption came off as tone deaf. I truly had good intentions and did not think through that it could come off as insensitive. Oh, Jody. Whoa, whoa, who's getting at her? Black people getting at her? Uh, I don't know. You Man, click- these got to be people that don't like the Black Lives Matter movement getting mad because what? they what? have been able to avoid seeing Black Lives Matter stuff. And they one thing that they do love, some good old side. Got smacked in the head with Black Lives Matter. They were like, "Dang it!" Hey, you're confusing to me with my. This is, this is not what I want to see when I think Black Lives wait, Matter. Wait a minute! Come wait on. a minute! I was just trying to see the side. <laughs> Hold on! I saw the hat. I gotta take this serious. Damn it! <laughs> I can't take things seriously staring at that. <laughs> They got mad because it got them. Uh, she got but them. That's that's a, what it was. But that, how else do you? Uh, come on! Why? Any attention is attention. How is is this insensitive? Look, Brian Taylor's they are still out there. Absolutely it's ridiculous not. that they're still out there, right? So my point is like, why? Whatever we can do to get attention, it's a, it's a Rick roll, is what she did. This is a Rick roll. It's like anytime you're like, hey, I, anytime there's like some thread, it's like, hey, want the the spoilers to blah blah blah, and then people will do it and they click the link and it's like donate or something. Is that insensitive? I don't no, see how this is not. insensitive. Those are a lot of racists are the ones that are calling her out. I would predict that a lot of people who are racist who don't like the Black Lives Matter movement are mad because she used her sexuality to slap them in the face with BLM. And that was a it's like um it's like when I try to avoid spoilers for Game of Thrones, right? Like I don't wanna I just don't want to see any spoilers for Game of Thrones. So I avoid Game of Thrones in my YouTube search bar. I won't even type Game of Thrones because the stupid algorithm will put a freaking Game of Thrones title in front of my face and the stupid thumbnail spoil the shit out of me. So it's like that. It's like finally going six, seven, eight, nine, ten days when Game of Thrones season eight is huge, and I'm only on season seven. And I finally type in, uh, uh, uh type in, uh, these twenty-two inch rims are a must-have for anybody. I click it, click. And by the way, uh, uh welcome to my channel, man. I'm gonna show you these twenty-two inch rims on this Mustang and why they are so fire that you're gonna be mad that Khaleesi died in season eight and you wish it was ice. I'm like, what the. F- Freak, man! I came here for rims, and you told me that Khaleesi dies. What the freak? Oh, you better believe I'm writing a letter. I'm writing a letter, and I'm gonna be mad at you too. They didn't want to see that truth. That's what it is. Here, here's here's one of the people who didn't want to see the truth. Here we go. It's this is the I don't know who this is. Lily Ryan really thought she was doing. She's doing something. Uh, this is sick. Why does she use Brian Taylor's <laughs> name as an excuse to post her sexy pic? Weird and gross. And then this person, Clarissa comes in oh my god how much stupidity <laughs> that's incredible bro this her is caption sick. was i'm ignorant. here to see her side her caption was ignorant and tone deaf and it was what's funny is like no it's 86 people oh sorry 400 people so that's all it takes now 400 people get mad 
that you did something and now you must apologize. And it's how we, we react this quickly now on social media. It's getting crazy. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with this. Oh, I don't man. see why this is like, I'm mad. It's like, it's just like, look, that have the whole point of the Brianna Taylor, Brianna Taylor thing is like raising awareness. Why does this happen? Like keep the name. We want to keep saying the name to keep people talking about it. This insensitive or not to certain people. We're talking about it right now because she did it. That's the whole point. That's the point. To have someone who's like, yeah, look at this. Who's Brian Taylor? Is she hot? And then hopefully he goes and looks. <laughs> and then this, oh, damn, that's messed up. I got to go support. You know what I mean? Like, it's all an endless thing to get the support that we're trying to get in that case. So I don't understand how that's insensitive. If anything, it's raising awareness. Good for her. I got no problem with it. But Twitter Good for her, has but a I, problem I, with I everybody. Also, I don't like that she, she, she caved so soon. And so that was a, that was a really sissy statement about her apology that was really that was really weak i feel like if you went out of out of your way to to upload a picture of you naked showing your side to say black lives matter then you should at least have that much uh, uh passion to be able to fight off a couple of haters who didn't like what they saw i mean nobody and what you should have known and that it's the people that you're trying to convince are the ones that want you to take that down and then we're giving you backlash because you're absolutely bringing awareness to the issue. So we aren't mad at you. Most of us aren't mad at you. Anybody that has a problem with that are the people that don't want to know about black lives matter, which is probably safe to say they're bigots or racist. So why pander and cave into them? That's what you're doing here. I feel like you should have stuck up to your guns, uh, figuratively and the literal ones and kept the, the post up there. You know what I'm saying? Let them guns fly and, you know, Black Lives Matter, of course. Thank you, Myra Martin, for the uh, for the uh, support there. She shouldn't have apologized. I'm sorry, but sex yep. sells. It's used all the time for advertisements. And here is someone using it for a good cause. Me and Myra, that's, same thing. I think, Myra, I appreciate you chiming in. Because it's like, look, I, <laughs> I always remember that. It was a gag in The Simpsons. I remember seeing when I was a little kid when Bart's running for, uh, what's it, class president. Uh, and then he writes like a on the top of the poster now that i yeah. got homer i helps him now that we got your attention yeah. vote for bart uh <laughs> yeah. I, that's been ingrained since a kid i remember that joke it's always stood i'm like yeah that that's and it was just sat it was smart because it made me realize oh yeah that's what the media does to sell things it's, that's what, it's they do. what they do everybody does it i mean every network does it so if we're going to start calling people out it's so i'm with you she shouldn't have apologized here's another one i'm just these comments make me so this guy Thay stands up and says she makes lives whenever she can talk about black lives matter shares petitions helps to spread the good word but you insist on canceling her because of a caption she made in good intentions she's already deleted the caption made a mistake and learned now leave her alone and then bobby carrot comes in uh you making it sound like everybody got to be grateful because she had good intentions this kind of dumb sexist activism needs to stop and people need to get called out on it just in oh, how, just how entitled God. and arrogant one got to be associate their side with someone's murder smh uh bobby my man He's a man who stands for nothing and will fall for anything. He quotes Malcolm X. And he's white, I think. I shouldn't. Of course he is. I, I don't know. Maybe he's not. Could That's be mixed. insane. Or uh, Karat, I don't know. It might be Middle East. I wonder insane. how long that Malcolm X quote has been there. How long? Do you, what's your bet? Do you think that's been there for the past couple months? Or do you think that's been there for the year? <laughs> I would say the past couple of weeks for him. <laughs> exactly. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I don't know. It's, it seems like he's, he's adding that. Um, this is ridiculous to me. I don't know why she apologized. Uh, she shouldn't have apologized. Uh, Lily Reinhardt, I don't know who you are, but man, uh, good for you for getting the word out. Uh, it clearly got some attention. Uh, you shouldn't have apologized. Sadly, people must apologize for everything now. Uh, in fact, there's another, I didn't realize uh, so this Lily Reinhardt story wasn't done. Apparently some people anonymously made some uh, harass, uh, made some accusations about uh, other Riverdale stars that now are, they're saying aren't true. And now the whole cast is coming forward talking about how false accusations do tremendous damage. I'm going to have to look into this, but it's clearly like Lily and the this cast is, of Riverdale are going through really a lot of like, they're just people are hitting people all over with just, one random accusation I know for I I was <laughs> happened to me early on. All it takes is one tweet to suddenly, and then it takes fifty, and then suddenly fifty, and then a hundred people, and then two hundred people, and then you're 
out of luck if you don't know how to, to mark on a quick. But uh, plenty to talk about in that topic, which we'll keep doing here in the live stream. I'm going to clip this, though, for YouTube. If you're watching later, make sure to always catch us here uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays live at 7 p.m. Uh, Jody's Corner, I'm live over there on Wednesdays, and you can check him out all the week. Go subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you remember, you'll get the whole show on the community tab, or you can listen to it on audio forums, always Spotify, iTunes, and all that jazz. Stay tuned if you're watching live. For those watching later, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!